All right, Joe, so I'm in my um, Gmail right now. I'm going to go up to the Rubik's Cube up here at the top. And I'm going to click on that and go to my drive. And I don't know if this is stuff you've done before, but I'm just uh, giving you the nuts and bolts here. I'm going to go into New, and I'm going to choose Google Slides. Okay, this is going to give me a, a brand new presentation. If you already have a PowerPoint, you can import it into here. Like you could go to insert, is it insert? Import slides, I think. Yeah, you can upload slides into it that way. Um, but if you're just creating it fresh, you can just, you know, kind of build your presentation. And then basically what you need to do to share it with other people is you need to come up here to the blue share button up here at the top right corner. And then you need to click this link right here. It says get shareable link. And this gives me a link that where anybody can view it. Okay? So if I copy that and paste it and give it to whoever whoever um, I need to, like if I want my students to look at it, this means that they can view it. If I want them to be able to edit it or comment, I can choose them in here. But if you just want them to be able to access the presentation to see it, you just click anyone with link and view. It defaults to that. And then basically if I open up a new window here and I paste that into it, so they'll be able to look at it like this, okay? Just the presentation as it is. So they'll be able to check it out. Um, the other option is to come up to File, down to Publish to the Web, and then you want to go ahead and publish it. And then once you publish it, it gives you a link to work from, so you can share this link with people. And let me show you what that looks like. It looks a little different than the other version. It kind of puts it on a black background here. Um, the other thing that you can do with it is embed it. So you can click on embed and it gives you that embed code. And this is like if you wanted to put a presentation into your, you know, your wiki site or into a web page or whatever, you can, you can grab it here. So I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, then just let me know, okay?